Third quarter big plays are brought to you by TriStar Auto Group in Somerset. Learn more at TriStarSomerset.com. It looks like the rain is going to hold off, but this is not the momentum I had mentioned earlier that Somerset needed to get back into the game. Backup QB Tyler Rios runs the quarterback draw to his right, gets hit, and then loses the football. The Trojans would take over. Two plays later, it's the double beat connection of Barber and Britt, hooking up again as the Trojans double their lead 14-0 on the 24-yard touchdown pass. Let's take another look at this on the RMG replay cam. Barber leads himself towards his receiver and drops a dime in the bread basket for Britt's second touchdown of the evening. Bad special teams play by Greater Johnstown has kept Somerset in this game. Until this play, Imil, you little Brit, runs to his right, waits for blocks, runs, waits, runs, waits, runs to his left in open space, and gets nice upfield blocking, especially by number two, Kahari Perry, who paves the way for Brit's third touchdown of the game. Trojans find themselves up 21 to zip. Somerset still trying to look for answers. Coddington rolls to his left, looks for receivers, but then is taken down by Shamar Jones for the sack. On the Trojans' ensuing drive, Barber would toss the screen pass to Darian Birkin, and he would have a lot of running room heading into the red zone inside the Somerset five-yard line. However, there would be an unsportsmanlike penalty, and that brought the Trojans back. That penalty didn't seem to phase Roderick Rosick, who received the handoff to the left, and instead of running behind his blockers, turns to the right and pulls off some Marcus Allen speed that he would be even proud of as number five finds his way into the end zone for the first time tonight. 28 0 as we head into the fourth quarter. Greater Johnstown looking to have a nice homecoming, but anything can still happen. 